if you can. We are so honored today. Our church grows in many ways. In some ways, it's because of babies. And we have a baby dedication this morning that we want to dedicate to the Lord. Amen. I think it's so neat, uh, both of these families that join together, you know, both have stories of how God brought them to restoration. And uh, when this young couple met, they were just young teenagers. I mean, very young teenagers and grew up in our youth group and uh, uh, fell in love and Leanna and I did their marriage counseling with them. They came and met with us every month for uh, six months or so before they got married. And, and then uh, our student life pastor, Brandon, uh, performed the ceremony uh, when uh, it was time for them to get married. And we were all there. And then on November the 22nd, 11, 22, it'd be easy to remember. You just double up the 11, the Lord, brought beautiful baby Ophelia James. Nobody thought I was ever going to be able to pronounce that right. Here's my trick. I'm going to tell you, you know how somebody tells you something, you say, I feel you. Instead of saying, I feel you, Ophelia. So we want mamas and papas and aunts and uncles and all the family a baby Ophelia, if you will come and stand up here today and join us. We'd like our elders to join us, please, this morning. And we've got aunts and uncles, and we have a very special guest. You know, most of this for all our home folks, but it's the first time a lot of you have had the opportunity to meet James Paul's father, Carl Paul. Would you give Carl a hand? Love this man. He's such a, a wonderful man. And uh, look how beautiful this baby is. Now listen, it's a different world we live in. Used to, when you had a baby, you'd pass them around to 15, 20 people, but with fluenza and all these things, it's the first child. How many of you know you're a little different with that first one than you are the other ones? Man, I don't, I, I'm surprised. Look, look at Leanna, just went there and grabbed her. I'm telling you what. Uh, so be real sensitive to them. They don't want anybody kissing on her and all that good stuff. Now, you'll have to wait till she gets a little bit older. You're going to kiss on anybody. Just kiss on Angie and JP. All right. Leave them alone. But dedication of babies, uh, we get that from the book of Samuel. Hannah was barren and she couldn't have a child. And she promised God that if he gave her a child, she would dedicate him to the Lord. And from his earliest days when he was weaned off the bottle, she literally gave him back to God. Do you remember the story when God was speaking to Samuel, when Eli the high priest, he was staying with Eli the high priest. And, and, and Eli told him, go back to bed. He said, something keeps calling my name. And three times the Lord spoke to Samuel, even as a lad. And the whole understanding of it is, these children are not ours. They belong to God. He only gives them to us for a season to raise and to rear. And that's why, Tanner, Savannah, it is so important, and you know this because you yourself have experienced the importance of raising this child in the house of the Lord. From an early age, we pray that she will know God, that she will be saved, someday we will baptize her and that she will go on and grow in this church and someday she'll grow up and, and, and meet a good Christian man and if the Lord blesses us that we can counsel them like we counseled you you know we're in this for the long term this isn't just a just a month or two thing the reason Leanne and I do what we do is because we're family and it's such an honor to be here with this with all of you guys, we love every one of y'all so much. Every member of this family, you know what you mean to us and what you've been to us through the years, how you've stood by us and good times and bad times. And 
You know, it's times like these. Remember I told y'all when y'all were members, when you came members, there's times we'll laugh together. There's times we'll cry together. And this is one of those times we do both. We celebrate and laugh, but we cry, but tears of joy because the Lord has blessed us so much. Elders, would you gather around Leanna? And, and Leanna, if you'll come stand right here just where I can get a little closer. Hallelujah. And church, would you just stretch your hands this way as we dedicate this precious baby to the Lord today? Just hold her up and let everybody see how beautiful she is today. Isn't she beautiful? I can, I can blow her kisses anyway. Hallelujah. Would you give the Lord a hand for being so wonderful and blessing this family today? Thank you, family, for being here. God bless you. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. in his sight. Jesus loves the little children. Brother JP, why don't you go ahead? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 